On November 15th, dozens of activists with the group Occupy the Regents protested at the University of California's Board of Regents meeting in San Francisco. The protest was against the handing over of millions of dollars of tax revenues from the newly passed Proposition 30 to Wall Street banks, rather than to reducing student fees and tuitions, which have tripled over the last 10 years. California voters approved Proposition 30 this past election day. It raised taxes for the next seven years on individuals who make more than $250,000 a year and promised to provide educational funding and relief for the recent fee and tuition hikes. The regions blamed these hikes on a bad economy. However, a new report by UC Berkeley doctoral students instead links them to financial practices of the regions themselves. Between 2003 and 2007, the regions started using interest rate swaps, the same exotic instruments that crippled the economy in 2008. They did this to issue bonds to finance the creation of three new medical centers. These bad bets have cost the school $57 million, which could rise to $250 million over the next three decades. The debt was collateralized by the tuition and fee hikes. Activists compared the situation to that of the city of Oakland, which is suing its creditor banks, and characterized the region's board as a revolving door for Wall Street. Regents Peter Taylor was a managing director for Lehman Brothers, and Regent Monica Lozano is currently on the board of Bank of America, a position for which she has received $1.5 million. Bank of America stands to make as much as $28 million in an interest rate swap in UC San Francisco, according to the report. Bank of America is also one of the banks under investigation for LIBOR manipulation. I'm now going to begin public comment. The Regents appreciate your observations and comments. The new city is losing $10 million a year through risky derivative swaps made worse by illegal market manipulation by Wall Street banks. By failing to renegotiate the swaps and pursue legal options against the banks that broke the law, the UC is leaving up to $200 million on the table. An independent actuarial analysis has concluded that UC could be saving up to $1 billion in costs over the next four years if they simply use the same methodology that every other major pension system in the country uses. The main recommendation of the report that was made is that UC should look into renegotiation and litigation against the banks that hold our interest rate swaps. Is CEO Lorette's continued multi-hundred thousand dollar bonuses on top of a 1.1 million dollar salary worth it? This is something that the city of San Francisco San Francisco Art Museum did with leadership from two of your members, uh, Regent Schilling and Regent Newsom, and saved $40 million on it. The $167 million to top management uh, is just shameful. They already make over $200,000. The reason we have the losses is because Wall Street banks have manipulated interest rates illegally. Both of the owners of our interest rate swaps, Bank of America and Deutsche Bank, are under federal investigation. And Deutsche Bank has, has already admitted complicity in this illegal interest rate manipulation. And the whole Prop 30 mess, your first reaction is to raise student fees after the state of California trusted you to do the right thing? What is wrong with you? And why wouldn't Peter Taylor even provide an answer to the Thank question? Next I think I'm going to finish this Mr. question. Here. Would Thank folks like to hear me finish my question? Yeah. So I think I'm going to finish my question. And my question is, why didn't Peter Taylor even answer the question of why UC has not considered renegotiation or litigation? We deserve an answer, and this region's body needs to act because hundreds of millions of dollars are going to Wall Street profits while students are on the hook for tuition hikes and cuts. And we're going to go on the offensive. We're going to demand a rollback, not keeping the fees at where they are, but a rollback of the tuition hikes to 2009. Democrats now have a super majority in both houses, and they have no excuse. They can vote in February for t taxing the rich, and we're not going to accept no for an answer from them or from you. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. 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 Education must be free, no cuts
be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts, no fees. Education must be free, no cuts. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you have to say about the show, and if you'd like to lend a hand. Our number is 646-580-8446, and our email is info at occupypublicaccesstv.com. We'd like to close with this video from Label It Yourself, an autonomous, grassroots, decentralized campaign designed to fill the gap left by the U.S. government's failure to label food that may contain genetically modified organisms. Enjoy! and shop wisely. I'm Latik Zabinski.